I was recently on holiday in Greece and as you can see the poolside entertainment isn't really up to much and Greek TV isn't either. So when I get back to my room uh, of an evening and I'm looking forward to watching my Amazon Prime, normally there'd be a problem, a problem like this. Basically the Amazon website recognises the fact that I'm outside of the UK and this would apply for US people as well who, who wanted to watch uh, their Amazon Prime account while they're outside of the US. So basically Amazon realises I'm not in the UK and even though I'm fully paid up and so on it won't let me access the films and the TV shows I want to watch and of course the same thing applies when I'm trying to watch the BBC or any other British TV iPlayer when I'm outside of the UK. Very frustrating and, and I'm sure you've tried this and you feel the same thing. However, the good news is that there is a solution and I'm going to show it to you now. It's very simple. What I do is I just fire up a little bit of software that I've downloaded to, well, not just this particular laptop, but all my computers, which is ProVPN. And as you can see here, I'm signed in and I can change the country that I'm perceived to be in by Amazon Prime or BBC or any, any, anybody, anywhere. So, for example, I'm going to, uh, to access my Amazon Prime UK account. I'm going to show that I'm in the UK. But if I was in the US, for example, I'd just choose a US uh, server. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm using VPN servers to show that I'm in the country that I'm not actually in. So let's uh, go to this one. So even though I'm not in the UK, I'm going to uh, give everyone the impression that I am and I'm going to connect. And while that's connecting, I have to tell you that um, this is completely legit. There's nothing wrong with doing this because I'm an Amazon Prime member. I'm a, B I'm a British citizen. I can watch BBC and all that stuff. It's just this, these weird copyright laws is that when you're outside of a country, you can't watch something. I don't know. I think it's crazy. But anyway, here I am. I'm now connected. OK, so let me now go back to my Amazon Prime account and let's see if I can view stuff. I never believed anyone was born evil. And the answer is yes I can and of course that's great. So I'm happy and I hope this makes you happy too because we've sorted out the, um, the issue. We can now access our Amazon Prime account wherever we happen to be geographically. So click the button in the video or the link in the description underneath, up to you. And um, you can choose to try it out for a month, that's fine. And that's what I did, but uh, however, I did make the mistake a few years ago because I've been a long time customer and their support is amazing, um, that I made the mistake of doing the one month recurring. I'm now an annual um, subscriber saves me a lot of money and it's fantastic and wherever I travel in the world I can watch my Amazon Prime account, my internet TV from my specific country and it doesn't matter if you're in the UK or the US or any other country in the world you can access TV and Amazon Prime stuff just by using this amazing little bit of software download it to your computer. It's easy. You don't have to be tech savvy, any of that nonsense. Just click, choose which country you want to appear to be in, and you can watch anything you like. I think it's absolutely fantastic, and uh, I can't recommend it strongly enough. So this is Clive, uh, and I'm in France at the moment, and I'm going to be watching um, my Amazon UK account tonight. I don't know what film I'm going to be watching yet, but who knows? That's up to me now. It's not for other people to, to, uh, to decide. Okay, thanks for your time and click that link and find out more about HMA VPN. It's great. I love it.